Well, if Tuesday night's presidential debate still leaving kind of a bad taste in your mouth and your social media timelines continue to be inundated with political ads, your favorite TV shows interrupted by endorsements and you watch every major street corner fill up with campaign signs, maybe you could maybe use something else to consider. Check this out. This is South Fifth Street in Pocatello. Normal corner spot, right? Everything from congressional to local commissioner ads. And you can see what one, two, three, four, five, six campaign signs in that picture. But how many of you actually paid attention to those signs as you're driving by from point A to point B? Probably not too many of us, right? Which is why the first time we looked at that picture, we didn't see it either. Let's look at it again. Okay, you see it now? That little one? Yeah, the little red, white, and blue one there in the middle. Looks like an ordinary political sign, but it's anything but. And technically, we're not supposed to endorse any candidate for office, part of the unofficial media code of ethics. But did you see that? We decided to make this exception right here. The 208 team, we are throwing our support behind Oakley. Who's Oakley? Oakley. Take a look at this picture again. Why do we want Oakley? Well, she likes cheese, for one. That's good enough for us. And because we haven't heard, any, heard her say anything bad, about her opponent. We just don't know who that is either. So maybe she has. I don't know. We actually haven't heard her say anything. It's a breath of fresh air for sure in the political climate that we're seeing in right now, right? And we realize this may upset some cat lovers out there, maybe even those who are lactose intolerant, but we feel like this is the right choice for Idaho right now for whatever seat Oakley is running for. We don't know who put up the sign. We tried to figure it out and we're still trying to figure that out. But if you happen to do know who did that, Send us a message. We'd love to chat with Oakley or at least Oakley's owner to get to know where she stands on some important issues like which dog park is best.